Hi guys, thanks for coming by. Welcome to all my new subbies. I am very appreciative and I hope that you will enjoy the videos coming up. And to my regular subscribers, this is a little bit different than what you've seen before from me, I think. Not too much, but it's an art journal and I made it in a what's called master class that Brooke Henry taught. She's bbhenryart.com and bbhenry-art on Instagram. She was a fantastic teacher. It was She was caring and enthusiastic and supportive. I really brought a lot of vintage in. She's very art arty and I struck a balance asked her if that was okay before I took the class. She was absolutely fine with it. And I loved every minute. It was really a great class, great people. It was um, enlightening. I discovered likes and dislikes. And that was why I wanted to take it. So I got everything I wanted out of the class. And this is one of two journals that I'm making from it. The other one I'm still working on the cover. So the cover, let's start with that. Um, these are all fabrics, except for the black background ones. These are all fabrics that were white or cream that I painted. Yeah, we paint the fabrics. That's how it started. Although you could start anywhere you wanted. But painting was pretty unusual uh, for me. We painted with acrylics. So this was solid white and black. So was that. Um, this was this plaid with white. This is a salvage. I didn't change that. This is an old piece of white lace. This is an old linen napkin. And this is another linen napkin. And I think this was too. Yeah, you can see the napkin design that they would put in simple everyday fabric napkins. So yeah, it's all cotton. This was white. And, um... And what a blast. I mean, what an unusual thing to do. Acrylic and water. And it was just really fun. Brooke likes to work in, in sort of this, you know, a selection of colors that come in the same place on the color wheel. And um, so I kind of followed that, what the heck, and stayed with blues and greens. But I did bring in the vintage colors and some, you know, of the tans and the oranges. All right, so let's get started. I, um, well, so I put beads on the front here and did just different kind of stitching. This was all couched. You can see those little knots. So I, I did couching on that. I was proud of that. I liked it. This is a metallic thread. And then this is a vintage uh, butterfly crocheted piece. And I made the body out of gauze. And uh, the little feelers or antennae are stitched on. And uh, this is, like I said, a piece of lace. Put some beads on. And there you go. And I decided that I couldn't do a, a overstitch because I had come too close to the edge with the beads. And um, it, I just didn't leave room. I didn't want to cover that up either. So I'm going to leave room in my blue one. But on this one, I machine stitched an, an old vintage napkin. It's got a really pretty corner. And I intentionally left one edge out because I liked the irregularity of the edge. And uh, it's really soft. It's, it just feels good. This was hand hemmed over, little tiny stitches, and then um, and then I cut it off on here, just to be different, just so it didn't look, you know, too standard. So this was a, a picture out of a book that I jelly printed. This is a jelly print. I used digitals that. Brooke made. She sells digitals in her shop on her website. And I, um, because I did try doing it, of course, it's a big part of the class, but I, I found it, the time that it consumed 
wasn't giving me the most amount of joy. So I, um, the stuff that gave me joy was gel printing. Oh my gosh, love it so much. And uh, watercolor squares, really love that. And uh, and some collaging that I did. But a lot, but the digitals mostly are going to be ones that I've purchased. So this is a postcard. I actually made this before, but it fit perfectly in with this. This is from Paper Cameo. And this is a piece where I cut out two pieces of lace, formed leaves, drew a stem, and, um, and put that on there. This is a poem that came out of a magazine by Mary Oliver, the one where she says, tell me what it is you plan to do with your one wild and precious life. So I wanted to include that because such a good question. And I think as we go through life, we have to keep asking ourselves that. Just keep asking. This is a journal card. I made this out of fabric. And that's a fabric tab. Gel print. This is a tuck or pocket and um, watercolor pieces that I made. Ruby and Pearl Digital, as is that. Put my tape down here. Made a pocket, Tracy Fox. And then these are, this is uh, Cheryl Ann Francis. These are, this is a layer of tissue that was colored um, with sort of aquas and beiges, and I just thought it made like a nice layering. Cheryl Francis Art. I don't know if I said the name right. And this is a um, copy of one of, you know, how you press off your stamps and put your extra colors and stuff on a paper next door. Well, I ended up liking it so much that so I made copies, actually, on both sides. <laughs> I used it um, a lot because I really like it, and I like the color. And I put little stamps on here and stuff. So this is just stamping. I think they're, they're not Tim Holtz stamps, but they're something I bought. And then this is a pocket. And the tag, I actually did dip my cup in coffee and set it on there. I liked this color with this. I just thought it was really a nice combo and that as well. And it's not an easy color to work with really. Stamping down there. This is just a page that really speaks to the vintage part. Added some labels, made this out of cardboard, added a label. Put a couple different stamps on there. Felt arty. This is the collage I made. Um, I might be adding beads that I made, fabric beads, so I've left this long. Um, but this is a collage. It's actually a, a, a copy of the collage that I made. It's a map out of a 1800s encyclopedia. And I did the watercolor squares on it. And then I cut a picture. Actually, it's this, this, and that. If you were to put it back together, it was from an 18, late 1800 school textbook. And um, this is also from the encyclopedia page and then some old dictionary here and here. So it was of Brazil. And apparently, this is Victoria, Brazil. And I had all the people coming on their boats immigrating to Brazil. And they all landed here in Victoria. And I sewed these lines to signify the different routes that they took when they got off the boat. You know, some by car, some by horse, some by foot, some by um, wagon. Who knows? Depends when they got here. And then I made jaggedy lines for um, going up a mountain. And I had some, you know, come back and they got thicker lines. I love it. I think it turned out really cool. I love how the watercolor part came out. I I painted and then took some off, and the colors were much brighter in the original, more like this 
well not as bright as the yellow that's pretty darn bright but they were more more saturated and now they're more like worn down like trails would be I made several copies and this is another um, paper cameo postcard that I put the watercolor squares on which I really like graphics fairy this is a Tim Holtz stamp on some paper where I did other little stamping around it this is just a part of the stamp it's actually so big this is a tag I made this is a real flower it's a real flower it's a real 3d button and these buttons are also real and very old they're all really mother of pearl and um, just liked it a lot used uh, Tim Holtz uh, you know cardboard backing to a purchase and uh, scrappy papered onto a picture that had a lot of bronze I wanted to put it inside of here so that the blue would be but it ripped and this is a, a very old uh, page so I decided I would just put it on top and this is another um, use of my tape that I made I think it really goes well with these colors again Cheryl Francis art and art house whimsy more of my tape I don't recall who this is by this is fabric and I got it at a quilt show you know probably 15 years ago now it's a batik I got a whole bunch of them so I thought it went well here sunny and just seemed to fit in and I didn't want to cut it up because it is the face one side's awake one side's asleep so I just use paper clips to hold it and it could be a tuck spot easily but I really like the color of this paper from Ruby and Pearl with this uh, piece I just thought it was really pretty and this is a piece of um, coffee dyed paper a little note taking a little journaling this is um, actually some mark making I did in the blue I, this is the digital and then I did that on top I don't really like it so I decided to cover it up um, this is a uh, what do you call this a thingamabob <laughs> I made it I made it it's not metal I actually made it and uh, I've been thinking about doing a video on it so I might but the labels are I think from um, oh I don't know there's labels everywhere so who knows right this is from Tracy Fox this is more gel printing or delight I glued down there this is an old tag that I coffee dyed this is just a piece of perfectly it goes with it so well uh, scrap paper and this is another piece of fabric that I painted that was white background and this is a French old French book page that uh, I did some ink through stencils on that you know didn't turn out real great but I do think it looks good as a background I don't know where I got this it's in my stash this is a piece of fabric I painted show up and be seen is out of the um, Somerset magazine more of my watercolors you love that I love it I love it love it this is from a digital from tailor-made journals earlier this year I don't remember the name of it at all another one of my gel prints can you see the design in there I stenciled on it see right in here there's flowers can you see them yeah I think you can this is more of that page it's a thick book page and then this is a copy 
of my watercolors and I did stamping. This is also a gel print I made, uh, taking paint out, used an old block. This is from an 1800s encyclopedia and I gel printed the paper. It's super thin, so I stitched it on there. This is really old wrapping paper, like really old wrapping paper. And this is a um, copy of an envelope I have on newsprint. And this, this I really love. This is an old um, negative holder from uh, 1930s to 50s. I have a whole bunch of stuff from this one family. And this was in there. And these are pictures from their camera. Negatives. This is a little kid sitting on a scooter. And this is the mom holding her baby. I love this. And this is like a exposure that didn't work out pretty well and negatives included. I just I just love it. And I wonder if they could actually be um, you know, printed. But where would you ever go? I mean who prints negatives anymore? Who prints photos? Where do you go? Used to be at all the shops but they're not anymore. This is a glassine bag. I don't know if it's old because I can't remember where I got it. Um, but it sure looks vintage, and I love the color. I didn't do a thing to it. This is a cool postcard that Brooke sent us when we signed up for the program, welcoming us and telling us she was happy. This is like her style. And this is to go on with this. It's from um, Mirage, uh, Medieval Mirage. And this is uh, Cheryl Francis Art again. These are fabrics from my stash, little bits and pieces, and a button I sewed on there. And a pin I rusted, if you remember when I rusted pins. And it's all, um, I should have stitched it, but I didn't. Oh, what a bummer. A missed opportunity. I glued it onto the tissue. This is a collage I made with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different pieces of paper. And then I glued this cute picture from Ruby and Pearl behind this guest check and cut it out. So I like that. And this is a, a book, you know, it's a copy of digital. This is more of that paper I make copies of. I think this is the original. Not sure. A little ATC card and a little postcard. This is uh, another... Uh, picture. I made an envelope. I actually traced from a few different kits to get it to look balanced and added some thread. This is what it looks like without the girl in there. Oh, I love it so much. And then this is the wonderful girl, woman. Love it, love it. On music paper. And um, some stamping. This is an old piece of paper from an ad, French paper, and I just love that it. it's a dictionary of artisans. So with that in mind, I just had to make use of it. And um, so what did I have in it? Oh, where's the stuff I took out? Oh, that's weird. I did put some stuff in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I guess it, I guess it, wait a minute. That's what it is. Okay, here you go. All right, so another postcard. And just a piece of scrap paper, but long ago they used to put plastic along the holes to reinforce them for school paper. So that was interesting and historic. And just some labels that I thought were cool. Really, it's the back that's the coolest. Okay, I'll put them in later. And another pocket. Oh, okay. Upside down. So I need to hide more threads in case I want to do those beads. This is a piece of Tim Holtz fabric. So I could write underneath it. And his tape. Tracy Fox Bird. And there's a pocket under here. Scrapbook paper. 
And then this is a frame that I made from all fabrics except for this. That's paper. Um, but everything else are bits and pieces. A lot of them I painted. And then others are original. I painted that. And then I used um, mica and shimmery type paints to make the inside. I think I did it on a gel plate. I did not want the picture itself to be what showed um, or where your eye went necessarily. I wanted the frame to really be the, the art on the page. And I love the chartreuses with this coloring and these are um, from uh, Brooke. And this is a picture I took long ago when Pinterest was just starting. You could copy from it without it being a problem. And so that's from that time. Love it though. Just love it. Love the super cool. I mean, this is very cool colors. That's what I'm talking about. Cool colors. And then the warm, warm colors. I just think it's yummy. And I also like this spread with, you know, very much a fall feel, orangey. More of my watercolor Prince, another Brook Digital. This is fabric on top of tissue pattern and another pin. Back half of that picture, more fabric, pin, and button. And this is the back half of, oh, here it is. Love Well. Oh, it's a coffee shop. Yeah, this is a coffee shop bag. Yeah, the coffee, yeah. I put this uh, orange washi along here, and I picked this card because I like how it looked shining through. And on this side, it brought in the black on the postcard. It's a cool postcard. I'm a real stationary fanatic, and I have been my whole adult life, or even childhood. And so I got this probably, I don't know, I don't know, so long ago, 15 years maybe. And I have a whole bunch of them. I've used a lot of them, but worked out perfectly here, I thought. And then this is a three-pocket thing. One, two, and three. Then I made and put these little things in that had the same color sense about them. I loved it. I loved it with with things in it and without. This is the back of the water uh, wrapping paper. This is the back of the encyclopedia paper that I gel printed. And then the final side of the watercolors and the gel print. Thankful, grateful, blessed. And that's that. Yeah. So I hope you liked that and um, enjoyed it. I loved making it and uh, learned a lot and really enjoyed putting this together. Thank you so much for coming by, guys, today. I so appreciate your viewing and if you have anything you want to say in the comments I'd love to hear it and subscribe and like would be great too so I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time take care bye bye